We are following breaking news from the Justice Department. Officials just announced that Denmark's largest bank has pleaded guilty after the U.S. accused it of using the American financial system to facilitate money laundering on a massive billion-dollar scale. NBC's Ken Delanian is reporting on this story for us. So, Ken, what can you tell us about this company and this case? Good afternoon, Lindsay. Danske Bank pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit bank fraud, and the company has agreed to pay a fine of just over $2 billion. And look, although this case hasn't been in the news much here, it's been described as one of the biggest money laundering scandals in history. The Justice Department says the bank defrauded U.S. banks by allowing high-risk customers, including Russians, access to the U.S. financial system through its branch in Estonia. They say the bank lied and deceived American banks to pump billions of dollars of suspicious and criminal funds through the U.S. financial system. Deputy Attorney General Lisa Monaco said this prosecution was an effort to guard the integrity of the U.S. financial system from tainted money. Now, back in 2019, a probe by a Danish law firm found that more than $200 billion of outside money had flowed through the bank's Estonia branch from 2007 to 2015, and that a significant part of that was found to be suspicious. And it found that a whistleblower had notified the bank's management about this problem as far back as 2015. 2013. And those findings led to the resignation of the CEO, the arrest of eight former bank employees, and a former chief of the Estonian branch even committed suicide. This case is notable as the U.S. is trying to put the financial squeeze on Russian oligarchs close to Vladimir Putin because it shows how wealthy individuals are able to evade U.S. sanctions. But ultimately, Lindsay, the bank that helped them wasn't able to evade U.S. justice. Um, all right, Ken Delanian, thank you so much for breaking that down.